Hi, I'm David Smith with David Smith Radon Remedies. Uh, our job today, our radon mitigation job, is in Bloomington, Illinois. We're in an older established neighborhood. Uh, the home we're doing is a beautiful three-story home that is uh, uh, probably 110 years old. Uh, we've made a game plan. Uh, we've met here with uh, both of my foremen. Uh, the homeowners are a young couple that are going to have a baby. Uh, they did their research. They know the dangers of radon. They don't want themselves or their new baby exposed to radon gases. And so we're going to create a radon system for them today. Uh, the older homes are more complicated to do. It's going to be uh, three, three holes in the floor to do it. We're going to do a good job for them and my crew is in the basement as we speak building a radon system for them. Dan has established his point to the exterior of the home. Uh, he ran his first piece of pipe through the exterior of the home. He and I and Brian have designed how we want the pipe to work on the interior of the home based on the three suction points we feel that this home needs. So at this point, Dan has, we call it stub through, Dan has ran a pipe through to the exterior after he drilled, uh, drilled through the exterior. His pipe is through the exterior. He's now uh, creating the uh, central system that all the radon suction points are gonna come to before they exit to the fan. The first area that we're gonna drill is right next to this furnace. That will be what we call our main suction point. Now the reason we have to drill a hole in the floor is our intent is to remove the radon gases from under the floor before they can get in the basement. Radon gets in through concrete itself, radon gets in through floor cracks, radon gets in through, in this particular case, we have a floor drain that is untrapped, a huge source of radon. So we know there's a multitude of ways that radon can get into a home, and we also know once it gets trapped underneath your footing, it's sitting there without a place to go. And so the theory behind a radon system is, we're creating an artificial pathway, meaning a motor, which is no different than a vacuum cleaner, we're creating a motor that overrides the natural pathways it already has. In other words, the radon gas is sitting underneath the floor. The radon gas is trying to find a way out. Now we're gonna give it a motorized way out. And if we can give it a pathway stronger than what it originally had, we win every time. If we get into a home, uh, uh, built any time before say 1970 we always look at the floor drains shine a flashlight down them to see if they're trapped or untrapped um, trapped means just as under your bathroom sink the uh, the P or the S they call it traps the drain from radon coming up this particular drain goes down and does not have a trap so radon's coming back up we have a retrofit device that we're going to bust enough concrete out to fit into this drain so now it becomes trapped. This retrofit device has a Teflon ball in the top of it. When it goes in like this, the water goes down, it lifts the ball, lets it water fall out, the ball falls back down and prevents radon from coming up. So Brian will be working on that, Dan will be running the main trunk line of pipe, and the guys are drilling the holes as we speak. It's very important to us that we leave a home uh, at least as nice as we found it. I think that uh, the, a lot of the comments on our website include the fact that, uh, hey, I had no mess to clean up. I was very concerned about the fact that they were gonna drill holes in my floor because that made me naturally think that uh, there was gonna be a big dust cloud in my basement. But these vacuums, uh, as well as uh, water, uh, uh, as we're drilling, uh, keep that from happening. So our company policy is that we never leave anyone anything for anyone to clean up. While we're standing here, Sean has core drilled the first hole. He's got a five inch hole. He's now uh, using a special tool. You see this big right angle drill with a uh, augering bit on the end of it. That, uh, um, that augering bit, as he uses it in that hole, he will go around in a, a 180, 360 degrees, he will move around with that augering bit so he can loosen the dirt and then take his hand and his vacuum cleaner and scoop it out. Now his goal is three five gallon buckets. So we spend a lot of time removing that. We're gonna have three holes in this, um, in this basement floor. That means we're gonna have nine buckets of dirt coming out of this basement floor. State law requires that uh, 
that these wall floor joints are called be, be caulked with uh, polyurethane caulk. It is a source of radon. We want to close all the sources of radon before we start vacuuming under the floor. Older homes are more difficult to do because of uh, the brick being uneven. They're more difficult to do for, uh, for the fact that they oftentimes have more uh, crevices and cracks to do also. A good example of that is underneath the steps themselves have some uh, unusual uh, concrete uh, areas that, that require some extra work. But it is important to caulk all of these areas because they are radon sources. And so we spend quite a bit of time with a caulk gun also when we're doing a radon system. We have already drilled the home, hole through the house, which is a big part of that because that's your, uh, uh, you have to have the design done before you do that. Now on this exterior, Dan is getting ready to install the fan. The fan motor is what sucks the radon from underneath the f uh, floor, no different than a vacuum cleaner. If you're going to suck your rug up with a vacuum cleaner, you're also going to suck radon up with this fan here. This is just a high-end a high -end, uh, vacuum cleaner motor. It's uh, made to withstand water. This one here has a, a German motor that we're very proud of and we think it's the top fan in the industry. Uh, this fan will probably run at least 10 years. They run continuously, never shut off because the radon is constantly coming up. It also has to constantly do its job. So Dan, Dan has drilled through the home. He knows this is the location on the exterior of the home. The fan will be located here. The piping system from the fan will have to go up the entire home until it exits one foot above the roof line itself. Now the reason that we want to exit that high is we don't want any chance of re-entrapment in the home. And, and uh, radon gases will be very concentrated in this pipe. And so once they uh, exit the top roof line of this home, they'll dissipate very quickly in the atmosphere. So Dan will spend the next few hours building this exterior system while the other three men are, are drilling the holes in the basement floor in order to suck the radon up and, uh, and building the pipe system and doing the other uh, uh, caulking and other jobs required on the inside of the home. We're very concerned when we design a radon system. We know that on an older home, a, a radon system almost always has to be on the exterior of the home. Uh, there are a lot of newer homes that we hide the, uh, the radon fans in the system's interior so that they're very, very little uh, notice. This, this uh, uh, design uh, of this home happened to be uh, right between their house and the neighbor, uh, only 15 feet separating the homes. No one will ever see this fan. Uh, so uh, it was very important to us to design it in the least conspicuous area possible. It doesn't matter uh, where you go exteriorly, it's simply done for aesthetics. We never want it on the front of the house, we never want it close to a door if we can possibly help it. So we're pretty happy with what we've come up with here and uh, it is just on the side of the house where no one will ever see it.